what what <laughs> broke our health system? Okay, let's look at our scorecards now. Okay. 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 Now, as we are now, government last year mm. or this year I'll be running this year running. Government yeah. budgets, federal government budgets, eight naira mm. per person. Excuse me. Excuse me. Eight naira, eight naira. So that amounts to less than three thousand naira every month for you. Now your federal government budget on you is just eight naira per day. Per day. Okay. Well, I'm I'm, look, I'm I'm looking at the finance now. Okay. It's just eight naira per okay. day. Okay. Now out of that eight naira per day, they'll pay wages of doctors. They will refurbish hospitals. They will do the fuel their vehicles and all sort of anything concerning health for each Nigeria is eight naira per day. Less than three thousand naira per month. Month. Okay. Now, if you look at that, even the rest of what you don't have is that because that money is not enough, seventy yeah. percent of Nigerians mm-hmm. we have to dip their hands in their pockets, okay, to bring money out to assess health. And what kind of health are they assessing? Okay. Um, so most of the time, they're far from location where they can get good health services. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. They get to hospital that is overcrowded. Most of the time, they get to institutional challenges, you mm. know, and, and they have to end up mm. presenting themselves at late stages. Mm. You know? So now, if a family is managing mm-hmm. and they're just having the two fund of money to buy to go f- pay for schooling and housing and all that kind of thing, and the head of the family is hit with a health challenge or a health problem, right. the family will revert to poverty. Okay? Mm. So health, is a, in that way, is a determinant of poverty. Now, if you look at Nigeria, Every for every hundred women dying, and now I, I want to move to those figures now. Yeah, all over the world mm-hmm. because of pregnancy related issue, mm-hmm. 20 are in Nigeria. How do you explain that? 20. Wait, now, wait, wait. For, for every, every hundred, hundred women that die in the whole world, in the entire world, because of pregnancy related issues, 20 are Nigerians. My word, okay. Now, if you look at the newborn death. Okay, the newborn baby. Okay, for every hundred dying when they're born in the world, in the world, ten are Nigeria. Okay, if you look at the fact, I've, 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 I've picked it in from pregnancy mm-hmm. to newborn, mm-hmm. and you look at the five where we lose Nigeria is actually number three in the five deaths in the world. Mm. Eight hundred thousand mm. on that age of five dies from preventable causes. So. Now, if you then go forward, you've moved from that age, and then you're saying, okay, wait, this child has not gone above five. You know, um, 400,000 malaria will kill. Most of them, this younger age. And then malnutrition will hit. Hmm. I, mean, I mean, of course, you know our figures, 35% malnourished hmm. and stunted. Once you are malnourished, the capacity of the brain to think for you to actualize your full potential hmm. is limited. So sometimes I'm not too surprised when I see the kind of discussion going on in the minds of the younger ones because in reality, mm. they have suffered malnutrition. Right from the, when they were yes, the young. the capacity for the brain to extract critical information is dead. So they get everything. They just take hook, line, and sinker, mm. and they are fed. So now, when you now get to the youth stage, yeah. what do you get? Malnutrition. Uh, sorry, what do you get? Drug abuse. Drug and substance abuse, you know, mm. and the number is huge. Mm. So, and then you know what the capacity, what that one then does to the mental capability of those younger ones, mm. and then infection comes in, HIV, tuberculosis, all sorts and of things are coming. And then uh, it's not then is, is then a surprise for you that the average life expectancy in Nigeria is fifty three years old. Now, what that means essentially is this. For someone that died at 53 years age and using most of the, that year struggling, most yeah. of that year struggling, yeah. it means essentially that he cannot then teach his generation, genera- mm. I mean second generation, mm. some values. He cannot, he cannot invest in those um, uh, grandchild or, mm. you know, or, or, you know, or, or children effectively. So you see us being caught. All of these things are connected, connected to the health sector. And then, and then you are saying you are Right from when you are born. Yes. I say we are not developed. Well, if you want to rethink health system in terms of infrastructure, yeah. okay, yeah. what we need to do is to look at, um, uh, first and foremost, ensure and equip the primary health centers, okay, mm. to provide basic, that's, that basic services 
um, for people, educate them, link individuals, link families mm-hmm. to specific health system and health personnel. It, it, you see, it, the link is very easy. What I know is that if I'm staying at Uriba, for instance, mm-hmm. I know that my place is Uriba Primary Health Center. Yeah. And the, the name of my doctor is Dr. So, so, so. Mm. Or, and this mm. nurse is the second person. Mm. The phone number on, on me. And in such a way, if they need to now come to a quite general hospital, as yeah. an example, yeah. I, they must have sent my message ahead to another doctor at the quite general hospital expecting me, giving me an appointment. Mm. If it's an emergency, there must be a provision for that. Mm. So we, we cannot run a proper health system without rethinking what mm. we are running now. It's mm. not working. Mm. So that will not put emphasis on more on prevention rather than curative. Mm. By the time we're getting to curative, we're allowing the National Health Insurance Scheme. It's just about 2% that has been covered by National mm. Health Insurance Scheme. Mm. The rest, 98% of Nigeria, have to actually seek for health insurance elsewhere. The HMO is riddled with all sort of funny things, yeah. the, you know, short practices. So then the only thing that we're going to take up mm. and allow... The, the individual, uh, the government to uh, uh, to to, to uh, mix between private and public will be the tertiary where you need to do some advanced care. So mm. now the, the the public, the private initiative should come to that level to move equipment because mm. you know to move equipment. Like I was going to ask you that: do we do we need public private partnership to, to at, get to at, at the peak? At the peak. At the peak. At the peak. Okay. That because if you allow the flow, yeah, to go from primary health care. Mm. I'm, I'm sure out of 100 people, you'll have taken care of about 80. Mm. Okay? Mm. By the time you get to secondary, you take care of under 10, 15%. The, 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 those remaining at the top will just be the 5%. And that is where, you know, for instance, somebody is going to do a cancer treatment, yeah. you know, a whole course of cancer treatment. We, you know, in such a way that the government pays certain percentage, mm. and then the health insurance pays certain percentage, and do that, you do that if ca- you can afford to pay certain, certain percentage. Okay, now we should look at those vulnerable of the, in the societies, mm. the younger ones, the pregnant women, the elderly. The elderly. The elderly. There must be a clear package to take care of them. Even mm. if you cannot link the younger, I mean the the adolescents to that uh, primary system, you must be able to link the very young one mm. and the elderly to a health system. And then you don't separate your private hospital from public system. Because if a private hospital is in exist, exists in a location, yeah. you should be able to deliver some level of health care which government can pretend and mm. supervise and say that, listen, for this 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 population, yeah. can you help me lower their blood pressure mm. so that they won't put pressure on other people? Mm. So it's a simple mm. thing. And then for doing that and your report, then the government can say, okay, we are supporting you because we are doing this to, at this community at the level of the community yeah. so so now but if you look at what the health system is that it's just all noise for, for i can tell you in a very big pri- um, public hospital with all the fanfares launching kidney center and yeah. all those things you know t- three weeks ago i still lost a friend there they never had a dialysis they never had a dialysis unit no single machine it's working, and that's at the center and of that, that was a public hospital. That's a big public hospital with all sorts of names. You still have to go outside that place to go and do dialysis.